In this video I'm looking at what's new in version 2.09.03 of UV Layout. So here we've got um, some shells in various uh, tiles. Um, and so what we can do now is with the back quote key, which is the one above the tab key on standard keyboards, you can uh, that toggles selecting tiles mode. So you can see up the top here it's saying selecting tiles. So, uh, and then what that means is I can click and drag the left mouse button and it'll select all the shells in those tiles instead of, um, uh, let's say, you know, if you do this sort of normal drag, you'll get some that are in the rectangle and some aren't, or if you sort of try and select tiles, you might accidentally get shells in other tiles. So it's to sort of solve that, that problem. So you can just use the back quote key to turn that on and then you can either drag boxes or you can just single click in a tile to select it. Uh, single click elsewhere to unselect. Uh, that sort of depends on your preferences here for um, uh, the mouse. Sorry, mouse preferences. New edit preferences. So your left mouse button pick. It can either be sort of the standard UV layout modes or Maya style or 3D Studio Maya, uh, style so that controls whether you use control shift or whatever to select or deselect. Okay so let's get rid of that. So that's um, selecting tiles so obviously once you've selected tiles um, you can do things like under the move scale rotate here we've got the north, south, east, west buttons so you can just quickly move things um, by um, tile units um, so that's if you need to move things around so you know if we need to move those back there etc so that's uh, the things you can do with um, with once the tiles are selected um, also new in version 2.903 is the uh, option here to pack selected only so it isn't uh, it can be used in combination with the tile selecting, it doesn't have to be. So let's so if I go select a tile and I can just pack that tile, um, select this tile, pack that tile, or select a range of tiles and pack them. So um, they can be used in combination but they're not sort of tied to each other. Um, another thing that's new in, in this version, let's um, zoom in on this shell just as an example. So the uh, control I and K hotkeys, if I just do that now, so what that does is control I will tag all edges that are um, within a certain angle of the, the edge I selected. So this is for the edge straightening tagging, so these black lines will then, when, once I optimize, will be tried to make straight. Um, if I do control I again it removes it. So you may not want that applied to the entire shell because that's what the default action is. So now if you wanted to just do one section, let's say this strip down the middle, I can um, I can select those and then if I do control I here, um, because where I do the control I is on a marked face, it will only apply that edge tagging to other marked faces in the shell. So that's if you want to restrict um, uh, the straightening to certain areas, like here, I definitely want to do that. If I just want those particular um, polygons straightened out, not all the rest of it, that's, that's the way to do that uh, easily. Okay, so that's, um, we've got one more sort of main new thing that could be useful for people. Alright, so here's just a, a sort of mechanical part, but it does have rounded sort of selections and these sort of thin rounding edges. So um, to, uh, to flatten this out, um, you could try the segment tool, but it really, because of the sort of roundingness, it's not going to do very well. So there's an option now for a bit of um, human-assisted segmenting. So by that I mean um, 
what I can do now is select some faces so let's just say you know it doesn't really matter a few faces there and then if I click on the threshold button now what that does is it will select adjacent faces that are within that angle 30 degrees so it's a nice quick way of selecting these sort of faces so then I can uh, drop that down to UV space if I um, select these faces so you can see it's sort of picking regions of similar similar facing angle which is a nice way to, to segment up a sort of complicated sort of part organic part mechanical shape like this so that's how I would do is so I'd go around and um, sort of select select these uh, contiguous reasons and occasionally of course it's going to do something like that so you can either leave that there or just paint that out quickly or if you wanted these this face included then you just got the opportunity to go in there and and you know sort of fine tune it if you wanted and then um, and then you've got this sort of nice flattish or well not flattish but sort of contiguous region, regions so you go through split the object up like that and then you go after flattening and you go in and decide which ones to weld together to create a more uh, joined surface so that's the threshold button under segmenting so that's um, the main new things that are in the version 2.09.03 um, release